Yay. Oh my gosh. Today has been intense. No talking, <laughs> but a whole lot of working. It's Monday for me. And uh, I just had so much work to do. So much American Dad stuff. I... I'm sure I've... I think... I don't know if it still says it anywhere online, but I'm the timing supervisor on American Dad. And... Oh. Okay. Well, I can't afford that. I'm the timing supervisor, so my job is to oversee the timing of the series as a whole. And the timing is written out on exposure sheets. It's vertically on these enormous pieces of paper. They're all digital now. They're scans on Photoshop, but my job is to go over every single frame, every single in-between of an episode and make sure that I like it and that it gels with the style of the show, both from a technical standpoint and a creative standpoint. So if Roger or Stan are timed in a way that kind of uh, contradicts their character, then I'll change it. Or if there's something that looks wonky, I'll change it. It's, uh, it's, a, it's an incredible job to have, but it's very um, creatively intense. It requires a lot of focus. Unlike other jobs in animation, you can't really put on music and zone out and draw. You kind of have to always be present and constantly listening and re-listening to the dialogue and the performances and matching them against the timing on the sheets. It is crazy. Anyway, today was just a whole day of that. I might even go back and do some more work a little bit. It's, it's late at night, but you know, I'm just, uh, anyway, uh, I didn't talk. So now I'm talking. I just worked. I was looking around my house today and I was thinking about how I I sleep on a twin mattress on the floor of a house I live in by myself. All of my tables are plastic picnic tables. And all of my chairs are rolling computer chairs that I've upgraded the wheels on so that they're glidey and like roller blades. I don't have any, I don't have a couch. And I don't have a box spring. <laughs> and I've been made fun of on multiple occasions for that. And I'm, I'm always kind of like, okay, a little ashamed, a little embarrassed, but then I look metaphorically at the other person's life, and I think, well, I wouldn't want to live in that house or be in your situation. Hello, little boy. You're so big. What do you want? What can I feed you? Anything? Nothing? How many do you need? I'll keep going. Oh, that was it? Will you stay full or will you shrink? Well, I'll be back. Anyway, I get made fun of. And I was thinking about it. And, and part of the reason why I live that way is functionally, it's nice to be able to just move stuff around. I rearranged the furniture in my house, like, sometimes multiple times a month. If I am feeling really restless, or if there's a part of my house that 
I neglect for a long time. Like, sometimes there will just be a corner of a room that I've dedicated for a, a purpose, like writing or reading. And if I go too long, I thought that was a human hand. It's just a big fork. Um, if I go too long without writing or reading or visiting that area, I start to think to myself, well, I I'm not utilizing it. So I should try to uh, adjust it and revise this area and see if there is a new setup where I'd be more inclined to go. And go visit that area more often and utilize that space better. And so I'll rearrange everything. And rearranging the furniture in your home is a very quick pseudo version of productivity that kind of helps you feel organized. Hello, little man. That helps you feel organized when you're not sure what to do. And I find myself doing that a lot. I find myself feeling restless and lost very often. And when I have simply no clue what to do with my life, or... Um... I don't think I want a heart module because nothing's ever hurt me. Sprinting. Uh, I can't. Okay. I can only buy this. So I will do it. Neat. Um, anytime I'm feeling lost or confused, I just rearrange everything. And not necessarily everything, but certainly everything that's... Um, underutilized or not utilized at all. And it feels nice. It feels as if I've accomplished something, even if I technically haven't. But sometimes I have. I mean, if you think about the studies done on the psychological effects of, of taking a shower after completing a task, or thinking through something, you know, there's evidence that showering kind of helps you mentally let go of certain feelings or thoughts. It's not just a true physical cleaning. It's sort of like a little psychic one. And I think the same very easily could hold true for rearranging the things in your home. That way nothing is where it usually is, and you can't default to old behaviors. At least, not right away. You know, you give yourself a couple of days to acclimate, and you fall back into old habits. <laughs> because the, the candy's in the candy room that didn't exist before. That's right. I... Sometimes I give myself a candy room. What is it? It's just, a t it's just a room in my house with a single table in the center of it, filled with candy. No, I don't, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> that was a lie. Sometimes I lie because I think it's funny. <laughs> Some people would call it comedy. I would call it a problem. No, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> so many of you boys what are y'all doing do I need to take care of you or do you just roam free go blow into the sky to the moon with you and to never come back down oh, there you go um no I, I really like the freedom of being able to rearrange my house anytime I feel a little lost and directionless in life. You know, it's the same as writing down my goals, which I haven't done in a long time. I really need to. I wish I could. I'm off with you, boy. Did I just murder that man? Nobody tell anyone what I've done. Um, 
I like it. And, you know, one of the... Every time you make a decision in life, you have to deal with the all the decisions you're no longer capable of making. You know, when God shuts a door, he then goes ahead and shuts several others. Um, that's the saying. That's, that's what I was taught. Um... I'm gonna pr I googled how to kill these, and I want to try it. But you can't... No, 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 you don't get to go away. I see you. Oh, you hurt me? No, I shoot you to the moon. And by the moon, I mean I hold you underwater till you're still. I suffocate you. Well, I let nature suffocate you. And then I too drown. <sighs> A very valuable lesson there. When you murder recklessly, you lose all your gems? Oh, I didn't know about that. I don't think that, that also wasn't the lesson. <laughs> uh, I think this is... Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, I, was, I was talking about... I was talking about the freedom of mobility um, through non-conventional living space choices. That's sort of the... one of the incredible luxuries of... Can I do anything with you now? <gasps> oh! Incredible. Um... Cool. Yeah, I don't know. I... Maybe it's something I won't do forever, but I do know that... If I bought a bunch of Ikea furniture... That was huge, but beautiful. I wouldn't be able to switch from one room to another. You know, all the, all the interior. And be like, oh, this is now my, my drawing room. I only come in here to draw. And then I shut that door for a long time. <laughs> and never enter that room. <laughs> uh, that's a real... That's a real thing I tried. Because why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't you? Of course you'd want to try that. It didn't work. Now my rooms have multi multiple purposes. I, I try to give them multi-purposes anyway. Oh, you're not on the list of monies. What can I do with you then? So like right now, my bed is in the room where I read and write. And... My, I do my work, my uh, animation work, in the living room, near a window. <laughs> and this little video game setup that I'm playing on right now is also where I make my personal cartoons. I use them. Um... So right now everything has two purposes. And that's nice. That helps. Because if you're not inclined to do one, you're usually inclined to or forced to do the other. Look at you. Jellystone into the refinery. I... Hmm. I don't know. There is two sides to that, though. You know, because there's... Just like I was talking about last time, I could, could be convincing myself that I'm refining my living space, when in reality I could very well just be arbitrarily changing it. Not always for the better. I, I, sometimes I tell myself, no, I have new information, new experiences, and based on that, I'm changing how I'm living in a small way, and that's technically progress. That's not me 
doing something for no reason. But that could very well be like the whole guitarist to songwriter to lyricist to nobody sort of path of of me not being honest with myself. I just don't know. And I didn't start playing this video game to talk about things that I know about. I came here to suck up g glowing goo from the water. Is that just the reflection of the sun? Or could it be my new best friend? I'm not going to dive in. I... For once, I feel like I'm at a bit of a loss. Probably because I lost the thread of what I was saying. And also because I'm starting to understand this game a little better. Oh, I want to collect berries to feed to that big boy. If I can find him again. Anyway, I sleep on a twin mattress on the floor of a house alone. And that isn't to say that I truly enjoy living that way. It's just that that's how I'm living. And have been. Living in a house is insane. I... It's crazy. I don't know if I'll be able to live in one forever with rent increases and such. I may have to go back to apartment life very soon. But living in a house when you aren't in a relationship is absolute, it just seems so insane to me. I don't know, I don't know how you feel about relationships and homes, if they go hand in hand for you. But for me, I always imagined that I would fall in love long before I was ever able to live in a house. Like, the even just like the, the sheer viability of it. It just made no sense. And there was something really sad. I resisted it. Um... I didn't even know I could afford to live into a house, to live in a house, because I, I wasn't paying attention to the prices of things when I was working. It wasn't until COVID hit and I couldn't handle the noise my neighbors was, were making because I was working from home and my neighbor was like this DJ who was de DJing all the time, shaking the walls of the apartment. It was unbearable. So I finally left because I had to, just to do my job. And I decided, well, I don't know how long COVID will last. I can afford this house, it turns out. I'll just live in a house through lockdown. And it was really exciting. Um, but also really sad. You know, I didn't have, it wasn't like a housewarming party or anything because I didn't really know anyone. There was no one to invite. I didn't have a girlfriend. Um, my family have never come to visit me. Uh, they don't know where I live. Um, it was just very surreal and sad. And it's like a crazy thing. I'm not necessarily complaining about it, but it was just so unexpected that my life is not at all turning out how I thought it would. And it's not unsuccessful, but it's certainly not what I th wanted. Um... And it's just... You know, when, it's hard to explain, but when you, when you step into a house, you've paid movers and they move your stuff in, you know, you, you tip them 
You shake hands with the landlord. And everybody leaves. And you're... You know, you're standing in a house. By yourself. And there's nothing to do. There's no one to call. I mean... I was living in a studio apartment before I moved into the house, so I didn't even own much stuff. I just unpacked my boxes and I went to bed and it was very weird. But it was, and it was so quiet. It was scary. My my house has two doors, like a, a front and a back door. It's not something I've I'm used to. There was a one night where I accidentally like fell asleep with the back door open. It was very scary. But I'm not gonna buy a couch. Because I don't want to. I might buy a queen size mattress one day. But I'm gonna wait and see. Because I don't know what rent is gonna be like in 2023. And I don't get the feeling that life is going to get easier. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to get crazier. I always thought that I would at least have like a girlfriend or something before I moved into a house. That was always what I imagined. The only roommate I ever really had was my ex-girlfriend that I moved to LA with. And that was an awful situation. Before that, when I was living in Seattle, it was long enough ago that rent was actually possible. Like it wasn't insane. So I didn't need a roommate because it was just a studio apartment. I worked at a call center. I've had a lot of, not a lot, but all of my jobs were very, uh, after high school, I worked at Walmart, then I worked at Starbucks, then I worked at The Gap, I even worked at American Apparel for a little bit, and then I worked at a call center, doing tech support for mobile phones, and then I started writing little online manuals for them, and then I was able to leave the call center and work full time at the company <sighs> writing these little manuals for cell phones for specific carriers. It was a very weird job, but it paid enough to where I could live in a studio apartment in Seattle. And I remember enjoying it for a while but there very is there very is something depressing about sustainability and just sort of being in a routine where life isn't all that bad I don't know, maybe it's just me. But I feel like... I'm often... Oh, you won't eat... And you won't eat this, though, will you? No. 
Give it back, sir. I'm looking for... I don't think I'm gonna find that sprite. I've lost my way and I'll never find him again. I wish I could, but I keep going, heading in circles. There's so many of you. What am I supposed to do with you all? Chuck you in the water? I... This is just a roundabout way, isn't it? Where did the ghost boy go? Do I have a map? No. I don't remember what I was saying. I think... I think I'm at a loss this time around. I imagined... I would say something about the absurdity of my furniture. And I did. But I don't know. I should speak a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Because after this, this is all I'll have to say for today. This is all I've had. I... wish... I... knew... more... about... myself. <laughs> uh... I'm lost. Am I... What are you? What was the point of that? Alright, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna go. Um, I will talk to you later. <laughs> Have a good day.